we just wrapped up the wheeler build and so today we're going to get started on the new project which i'm excited to introduce to you but for now i have to get to work so we'll do that uh, later on today see you then supposed to be a sunny day but it's not and I regret walking out without my jacket but gotta get some coffee So I'm back home now and I'm excited and ready to get into this new build. Um, so this new app that I'm going to be building, it's going to be my official startup. So I'm going to start this app and I'm going to see how far it goes. I'm going to start it from, um, I'm going to show you from where I started from actually from just a little drawings and then taking it up to actually starting to design it. And so the concept around the app is basically going to connect two people uh, who want to go to the gym with similar interests, similar um, uh, goals, fitness goals in mind, and they'll be able to, you know, like work out together, become gym partners. And so that's basically what the app is going to do. It'll, I'll tell you more as the series go on, but for now we'll just leave it there and we'll just start to um, designing it, I guess. Yeah. Well, we're gonna take a break from the design right now and just let you know the tech stack that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using Flutter on the front end for the UI, um, Firebase for the back end, Block and Qubit for state management, and Hive for local storage. And I'm also going to um, implement the scrum framework seeing that I have just recently been certified uh, so I'm going to try and implement that into the project as well and I know it's not going to be the traditional uh, implementation of scrum because the traditional implementation of scrum requires three accountabilities uh, like the product owner the scrum master and the development team and since it's me it's only me developing this app I'm going to assume all three roles and I, I just want to do it to um, uh, practice my uh, what I've learned through my um, studies and practice more on the agile um, principles so that's what I'm going to be doing uh, be, and my other reason for this is because this is going to be my startup like I said before and I want to make sure that I build this as professional as possible right uh, i did a horrible job trying to explain my why just now but basically what i said is there's numerous challenges that could um, delay this app's development so 
adopting agile methodology and other effective strategies early on i think is going to be essential so that the app stays on schedule and just to ensure that we deliver a high quality product so these are the designs i think they came out pretty good for not being a designer i think i did all right <laughs> So these are my onboarding screens, the splash screen, and my art screens. And these ones are just going to be the green screens that are usable to flow through. Uh, we have our chat screen, our profile screen, settings screen, and notifications. So I think that's it for the designs. For right now at least um, i'm sure i'm gonna have to do a bit more touching up um as we as we go along but for right now that's going to be it um and then just for, for some clarity uh this initial version that i'm going to release um within i would say 30 days is going to be just the mvp for the app and it's going to have a set of features that i've listed out that's like required for the mvp uh, it's only about six features, um, core features that's going to uh, be implemented right away. And the reason for that is because I want to get it out there, get it into the hands of the users and get feedback. And from there, I will be able to pivot and you know um, add whatever feedback that I get and implement it into the app. And I also have some secret, I call secret sauce uh, features that is going to differentiate this app from any competitors that's out there. And so within 30 days, I hope to get this launched into the hands of you guys, users, and you can give me feedback on it. And then we'll just go from there and start to implement the other features and whatever feedback that I do get. So I think that's it that I have for this video. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.